Unlike in 2019, when the People's Democratic Party PDP ceded its presidential ticket to the North, there is no consensus yet as to which of the zones will produce the party's flag bearer in the 2023 presidential election. This comes against the backdrop of insistence by powerful members of the party on the emergence of President of Southern Extraction. It will be recalled that the National Executive Committee NEC at its 89th meeting in February 2020 constituted a 14-man committee to review reasons the party lost the 2019 presidential election and was subsequently taxed to recommend to the party how to avert a reoccurrence in future elections. Although the Bala Mohammed committee recommended to the leadership of the party that the presidential ticket be made open to all six geopolitical zones, PDP governors from the South are rooting for the zone to produce a candidate that will slug it out with the All Progressive Congress in 2023. The 2018 convention would produce Atiku Abubakar as a flag bearer had the River State Governor openly rooting for his Sokoto State counterpart. Amin Utambua, who finished second behind Atiku. From the moment the former vice president emerged winner, Wike queued behind him, urging party members to work together in the interest of the party. But beyond that, he's making a solid case for the South because, in 2023, President Mohamed Buhari would have completed his second tenure, and it does not make sense to push out another northerner, regardless of the party, to succeed him. This is why His Excellency wants the party to look at the South because we have leaders with the requisite competence to turn the fortune of this country around. Only recently, Atiku was said to have met with Wiki on his presidential bid, only for the River State Governor to tell the Waziri Adamawa to wait until the leadership of the party took a position on zoning. An indication that the South is unlikely to settle for anything other than the presidency this time emerged last week when a former commissioner of information in Edo State and spokesman of Atiku Abubakar's presidential campaign organization, Kazim Afwegba, chided the former vice president over his renewed interest in the race and urged him to take his seat in the political retirement. Atiku understands how to run and work democracy. Atiku understands how to manage power. Atiku understands and had gone through the rigors of how administrative civil service produces procedures ought to work and should work. Atiku understands how to bring deliberate steps and actions to create big ripple effects that can impact an economy and make life far more abundant for the people. And you must be persuaded by the fact that, but for the Obasanjo and Atiku years, Nigeria doesn't seem to have had any major high points on the overall composite assessment of how life has been in the democracy. Anybody can claim that he is in charge, but the truth of the matter is that some of the players of that era know what the Vice President Atiku Abubakar contributed and brought to the table, he said. On calls by Afuegba for Atiku to retire, Shoumi said, the Okbila born prisons has been very inconsistent, saying, as at the last time I checked, I don't know whether he's truly a PDP man. It seems Afuegba is always available to do the hatchet job for those who sponsor him. When Afuegba came with his agenda to remove Uche Secondus, I was nervous because I wanted a situation where you do not destroy or you do more harm to the party in a bid to finish a term that was already about to finish. But alas, they care not what the consequences of rhetoric where and all their rhetoric was indicating or suggesting instability in a political party. This is the same man when the party finished everything and chose a candidate in a do state for the governorship election. He boastfully and publicly worked against the party. Shalana began to exchange words with a man who had not been consistently PDP. When in the real sense of the word, I've been PDP since the day the party came into existence. In 2018, Afuegba supported a man in Sokoto, Tambua, and we beat them resoundly by the grace of God and by the help of Nigerian people in Port Harcourt. And I can tell you, we have the ability in a free, fair and transparent election to beat them even more, he added. 2023 is going to be intense indeed because um, we know Southern governors, they've decided that um, the next president should come from the South. But we know we have some governors who are lawyer or who they are 
loyalists or who their allies are from the north. Wike is seriously rooting for Tambua. Everyone knows that, um, but um, um, as it stands right now, the party, they're in a tight corner because Wike is one of the uh, big wigs in the party. We know the role he played in the ouster of Uche Secondus. You know, as a matter of fact, it wasn't even just um, speculations. Wike came out openly that he was part of those that sent Uche Secondus back in. That's the former national chairman of the party. So if they start by being divided right now, because as it stands, um, it's PDP Nigerians are looking up to. There are only just two major political parties in the country, APC and PDP. APC have spoiled a lot of things, destroyed the country, dragged the country backward, uh, backwards, made Nigeria the poverty headquarters. It used to be India. Now we've overtaken them in the bad light, not even in the good light. If we're pushing forward to become the best, it's a different case. We've overtaken India in, with respect to poverty. So Nigerians have lost confidence in APC. Uh, except those who um, want to play politics or maybe those who want to collect bag of rice or 5,000 naira. But um, it would be a shame if they decide to mortgage their destiny again for another eight years. Nigerians are looking up to PDP. Most probably PDP will bring the change. But um, if they start by being divided, uh, it, it will not lead them anywhere. And also, apart from Nigerians rejecting um, APC, we don't want another northerner, not another northerner. You know, when Afoegba, Kazim Afoegba was speaking, um, the, the part that Nigerians um, supported him for was when he said that um, Atiku Abubakar should go and rest, that he should stop being a perpetual uh, uh, candidate. Atiku is one politician who has contested in virtually all the presidential elections. He is not one, but um, to him, he wants to give it the last shot. He wants to try again. But... Uh, <laughs> According to the meeting held by the, uh, the Southern Governors that um, is going to be the South, we'll see if they will betray one another. Nigerians are already reacting to all that is playing out right now, all that is going on. You know, the permutations and the calculations have started. Someone says, Wiki want to control and impose his will on PDP, making many people to hate PDP. Majority of those that want the ticket to go to South are not PDP members, but sponsors. They know that if a Northern candidate... They know that a northern candidate will win the election for PDP. Another person here says, why is Atiku so desperate? The Southeast and South South have been supporting him all these years. Why can't he support someone from the Southeast now to show appreciation to them? South should be united now or else North will rule this country for life. That is not what we want. We do not want the North to rule this country for life. They've been in power for so long. Anyway, we'll see how all of this plays out. Leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.